Hey everyone, this just came in the mail today and I'm pretty sure by now you've guessed it what it is. Uh, if not, by looking at the box, box for sure by reading the title of the video. So let's just do a quick unboxing of this and let me show you what it is. Let me change the angle. Okay, I'm pretty sure you know what it is by now. Uh, these are boots by Garnier. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, purchased these from a store in Bangalore. Uh, I believe they are known as Finks FYNX. They deal exclusively with the uh, off-road riding gears. So I'm uh, messing this up big time. Uh, I hope not. So yeah, they just bought from them. It was delivered in two days flat. Pretty good service, I must say. From Bangalore to Shillong in two days was a very, very good achievement. I hope that's sufficient. Let's see. First look. Not bad at all. They have put in some additional newspaper, as you can see, for so that they don't move around. Let me throw that aside, and there we go. These are the Garnier GX1, as you can see, they are in black again, the sole, are, the sole is enduro sole, so it's a little more grippy, uh, it has these hinges, oh, they already seem a little more flexible, right off the box, the buckles, they seem perfectly fine. I got a size smaller than usually what I wear. Huh. They've given me some stickers as well. Not bad, not bad at all, the bill. And the reason I got these boots is because uh, these boots are made in Italy versus the other boots that you're getting in the market which are actually now made in China. So these are still Italian leather, stretch sole. Uh, not bonnet sole like the ones that you get from Liat or the previous boot that I had from Fly Racing. So anyway, let me change the angle. I'll do a quick trial and let me see how it looks. So let's quickly try it out actually. So I've already put on the left one just to, you know, get a feel. The right one, let's try it now. I've kind of adjusted the length of these buckles already so that, you know, I have a feeling and I don't waste your time as well. Hmm. Uh, yep, one thing for sure that is a lot more comfortable than the Fly Mavericks that I had. And because of the hinge system here, I think it is already a lot more flexible than my Fly Racing ones. Let me see. Uh, yeah. I think even the sole because it's a stitched on sole and the nature of the sole I guess it is quite flexible already it's 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 not bad at all uh, so one thing to note here is uh, I did get a size smaller uh, so uh, I usually wear a size 43 but uh, the guys at Fink's Moto told me that, you know, uh, the toe box that Garnier has is a little bigger than usual. So it's best to get a size smaller. In fact, I actually tried a friend's pair of boots before I got these. So yeah, quick unboxing and try on of the Garnier GX1. Another thing to add, it's a little loose here and I think my calves are really small. so. I need to figure out how much I need to tighten these. 
just let me know if there's any tips or tricks on how to or how much to tighten rather well, another thing I notice is the gap here it kind of opens up it doesn't have that stretch fabric that uh, the fly racing had so it doesn't close from here so maybe things will enter inside turning off folding I'm not sure if you can see it but there's a gap substantial gap there so anyway that's it guys unboxing and try on of the Garnier GX1 bye bye